Timothy, when a girl dies after her friend runs a stop sign, and now neighbors are coming out to say it wasn't the teen driver's fault. They say the county is to blame for not doing anything about a dangerous intersection. And good evening, everyone. At 5.30, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Neighbors say they've already had numerous crashes. And now those who live near the crash scene at Northeast 199th and 29th Avenue in Ridgefield say something has to be done. Carla Castaño is live from that scene of the story. Carla. We've only been out here a couple of hours, and we've already seen a close call. Neighbors say with all of the grass and the trees and the brush, that it's really hard to see other cars and even the stop signs. It was very sad to hear because she's just a nice, such a nice person. You would never expect that to happen. Caitlin Miller's friend and classmate, Sam Pritchard, says he's going to miss the girl who had a way of cheering anyone up. She was always like really happy, really smiling person. She had a great personality. She would always bring smiles to everybody. But now that she's gone, there's a deep sadness. She didn't deserve this. Some classmates even made this tribute music video. Rest in peace, Caitlin. It's not right. The 17 year old's grandparents are so devastated, they closed up shop for the week. Her grandfather told us by phone the entire family is frustrated and heartbroken. It's not fair to the family. You know, it's, they lost a life. A family friend talks about the disappointment they feel knowing the intersection of Northeast 199th Street and 29th Avenue has a history of crashes. Somebody should do something about it. It should be taken care of. Meanwhile, neighbors like Kathy Quattlebaum are furious. This intersection is very dangerous. Very dangerous. We've seen many, many accidents here. Monday evening, Caitlin's friend went past the stop sign smashed into another car. But neighbors say the stop signs are hard to see. What's it going to take? Many, many more people that, uh, that are going to pass away or what? Neighbors want the county to put in a stoplight or make it a four-way stop. Something's got to be done. The 17-year-old girl who was driving the car, well, she is in serious condition in the hospital. Live in Ridgefield, Washington, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News. Car